Tonight, a brand new St. Louis pharmacy is working to rethink health care for underrepresented communities. The goal is to make everyone feel welcome regardless of their race or background. And new tonight, our Brent Solomon shows us how city leaders are praising this new venture. So what happened was 30 year old Marcus Howard knows St. Louis. He grew up here and had a vision to pour into his city. Three, He's proof of vision one. can become reality. Yeah. Tuesday, city leaders and supporters gathering to celebrate his new pharmacy, Greater Health. It's located inside of the Del Mar Divine Building on Del Mar Boulevard. For him, it's about the little things. Um, a lot of people feel seen and valued when they see that they can purchase band-aids that match their skin tone. The little things can result in big outcomes, people feeling included. A good five to ten people transferred today. or His team of five pharmacists and staff go through okay. mandatory training. Training is about cultural competence. Uh, training is about providing gender-affirming care. Uh, training is about um, underst better understanding um, people who identify as LGBTQ+, plus, um, those who are uh, English as their second language. The city of St. Louis is proud to show its support. St. Louis's health director commending Howard for making such an intentional business model. I cannot think of a better way for us to celebrate the last day of Black History Month than to come and support this young king and this beautiful pharmacy. The pharmacy is partnered with SSM Health, so there's a physician's assistant or nurse practitioner on hand. Without leaving the building, people can pick up their prescriptions too. A young man with a vision, with representation and service at the center. We're really excited about doing something different and bringing something unique to the community. Brent Solomon, five on your side. Greater, greater Health even delivers prescriptions for free to people who aren't able to travel. To open the pharmacy, the owner raised money through GoFundMe and received help from the Missouri Foundation for Health.